This video is about resistance and Ohm's law. Ohm's law is a very important law in physics, but before we get into that, we need to talk about resistance. And to do that, we need to go and have a look at the structure of a metal. And I showed you this in my video on current and potential difference. So if you haven't watched that yet, go back and watch that. But here it is, this is a metallic structure let's say copper if these wires here are made of copper then these will be the copper ions and you'll have negative electrons surrounding them and these electrons are delocalized free electrons they can move around the ions just vibrate on the spot they don't move they don't move about now as the electrons are traveling due to the battery giving them energy the electrons remember will go from negative to positive as the electrons try to flow along the wire we need to think about what obstacles they're facing as they try to do that so as the electrons move along the wire they're going to collide with these ions the ions are in the way and they're much bigger than the electrons so these collisions will impede or resist the flow of electrons. So resistance is a measure of how difficult it is for the current to flow. There are a number of factors that affect resistance. Um, number one is just the material. Some materials are better conductors than others. For example, copper is a very good conductor and it's a better conductor than, for example, nichrome. So the material makes a big difference. The length of the wire is the second thing. The longer the wire, the higher the resistance. The thickness or the cross-sectional area. So a thinner wire would mean a higher resistance. And then lastly, the temperature. If you increase the temperature of a wire, it means that the ions have more energy and when ions have more energy it means they vibrate more so increased vibration will lead to more collisions between the electrons and the ions simply because the ions are moving about more they don't move from place to place they're still on the spot they're still in the same position but they're vibrating a lot more so that will increase the collisions so as you increase the temperature the resistance will also increase so current potential difference and resistance are all connected and this is where Georg Ohm comes in he experimented with varying the potential difference and the current and he discovered what's known as Ohm's law and you can do a similar experiment to what he did all you need is a circuit like this this is a variable resistor and you use the variable resistor to change the current that flows in the circuit the current that flows through this fixed resistor so by changing the current for each current or for each value of current you can find the potential difference at that current so this would be a graph if you plotted the potential difference on the x-axis and on the y-axis you have the current in amps you'd get a straight line so if you double the potential difference the current also doubles this shows that the potential difference and the current are proportional and this is Ohm's law written out in words so the current flowing through the wire is proportional to the potential difference across it provided the temperature remains constant so remember why it's so important that the temperature has to remain constant if the temperature starts changing then the resistance of the wire will also change if the temperature increases the resistance will increase and you won't get a straight line so you have to keep the temperature constant in order to see the proportionality between potential difference and current as soon as the temperature changes this line stops being a straight line and ohm's law no longer holds so ohm's law can be written as an equation 
like so. V equals IR. So V is the potential difference and measured in volts. I, as always, is the current measured in amps and R is the resistance and resistance is measured in ohms and that's the Greek symbol Omega so this is a very important equation and you need to be able to rearrange this equation to find either V I or R as necessary so let's have a go at a question and see how we do. So looking at this question, find the resistance of a resistor with a potential difference of 12 volts and a current of 3 amps. If you'd like to have a go at this yourself, pause the video right now and have a go. Otherwise, I'll show you the answer. So this question is asking for us to find the resistance of the resistor they've given us the potential difference 12 volts and they've given us the current 3 amps we know that V equals I times R but we need to find the resistance so we need to rearrange this equation and it needs to look like this so if we stick in the numbers that's 12 volts divided by 3 amps which will give us 4 ohms as our resistance. So that resistor has a resistance of 4 ohms. Okay, so that was a video on resistance and ohms law. If you have any suggestions, make sure you comment with your suggestion below. Otherwise, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.